guys welcome back to my channel so today I decided to show you guys how to make a vitamin C serum this is the vitamin C serum that I like to use it's better to make your own rather than to buy one When vitamin C corrodes or expires, it actually can cause damage to your skin. So that is why I prefer to make my own. Today I'm going to show you two of the ways that I like to prepare my vitamin C. I like to prepare it in a serum form, which we will use this small container to put it in. And then the other way is in a cream form. This one will be a 10% formulation, which is a really good percentage to start off if you've never used vitamin C on your skin because vitamin C can can irritate you if you use it in high concentrations so I would recommend that you start off with your cream form and then work up your way to the serum form but today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you both ways all of the ingredients that I have here are for both the serum and the cream so that is why it looks like it's a lot of ingredients but you don't need all of them if you're just making one or the other so let me start off by showing you the ingredients that you'll need for the serum itself we will need some orange blossom water or just some regular water will be fine just make sure that it's not tap water it's preferably that you use distilled water if you're going to just use the water then I like to add some aloe vera gel but this is optional if you just want to make it a little bit less runny because this formulation can be quite runny if you don't add some type of gel into it and of course you're going to need some vitamin C which is the L ascorbic acid you could find this at Amazon they sell it in different sizes just make sure that it does say L ascorbic acid and that it comes in powder form like this one I will try to go ahead and add some links into the description box so that you guys can find these ingredients where I purchased them then you will also need some glycerin you can find these at Walgreens or just about any drugstore will have glycerin then you will need some vitamin E oil you will need some green tea and some licorice these two ingredients are actually optional but I like to add them to my serum just to add some more beneficial ingredients for my skincare but these are optional you don't have to add anything else other than those ingredients right there you will need a container to mix it in make sure that you use a glass container or a plastic container and a plastic spoon don't use any type of metal to mix any of these ingredients because metal will interfere with the formulation then you will need a small container something that has like like a dropper I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse this little bottle that used to have maracuja oil and what I did is I sterilized it with alcohol and then I let it dry so that way it's nice and clean of course you will need some measuring spoons there is the option of making this into a 20% concentration but I like to stick to 15% especially if you have sensitive skin I wouldn't go anything above 15% I can go ahead and make a video for the 20% if you guys would like that. So please let me know down in the description box if you guys would like for me to show you the 20%. But please make sure that you are accustomed to using vitamin C serums on your skin before you try the 20% only because I don't want your skin to be irritated. So I'm going to go ahead and start making this one which is the 15% formulation. We are going to go ahead with a 3-8 teaspoon measurement of L-ascorbic acid. So I just have the 1-8 teaspoon measurement here so we're going to add three of those then we're going to add some orange blossom water and like I said you don't have to have orange blossom water but you can find this at Amazon and I will go ahead and leave the link for that add one teaspoon of the orange blossom water as a base And since I like mine to be less watery, I'm going to go ahead and add in 1 8 teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. And I will also add 1 teaspoon of the glycerin. Before you mix in the glycerin, I like to give this a nice stir just to make the powder dissolve a little bit better. Then we'll go ahead and add in the teaspoon of glycerin. Make sure you mix it in really well so it starts to look a little bit more on the clear side. It's not going to look all the way clear but just try to mix it in as much as you can. 
otherwise the powder is not going to dissolve very well so you are going to need to mix it really nicely then we're going to add in three drops of vitamin e oil because this is going to serve as a preservative since I like to add green tea, I'm going to go ahead and add in three drops of this. And I like to add licorice root extract because licorice root extract actually helps with hyperpigmentation, which is something that I do have. So that is why I like to add a little bit of this to help me with that condition. And just three drops of each is good enough. If you guys don't want to add any of these, like I said, those two are optional. You could also opt for using another type of extract of your choice or oils of your choice. For example, argan oil or maracuja oil. Just anything that you prefer is good. But since I do like the benefits of these two extracts, that is why I go ahead and I add them. Then once you mix it in really nicely, it's going to look something like this. So it's not going to look clear because of the fact that we added these two ingredients but if you hadn't added those it would be more on the clear side. It's actually good if you don't add anything dark to it because that way you will know if it expired because when it expires it starts to turn yellowish to brownish and you do not want to place that on your face. But since I've been using this for a while I know how long this formula is going to last me which is why I only make a little bit at a time and then I make it fresh. Uh, that is why I go ahead and add those two things and just so that you know I like to keep this for no more than two weeks and then I dump out whatever is left and make a fresh batch. You don't want to extend the life of this for too long because vitamin C does corrode. Now we're going to go ahead and pour it into the container. And there you have it. So go ahead and store this in your refrigerator. You will need to leave it in the refrigerator to make sure that it stays fresh. But you can leave it out of the refrigerator if you intend to just leave it for no more than one week. I like to extend it for two weeks so I do keep this in the refrigerator. Also, if you want, go ahead and add in a date of when you prepared this just to make sure that you don't use it for more than two weeks. Now we're going to go ahead and make the 10% cream. If you're a beginner, this is a good place to start. This is a retinol cream that I like to use, but you could use any type of face cream of your choice. So we're going to start by adding two and one fourth teaspoons of the face cream of your choice. Then you will add in one fourth teaspoon of the L ascorbic acid. So just pour it in there. Just some type of plastic uh, stirring spoon or some sort and mix it in really well. Once it's mixed in really nicely, you are done. And this is ready for you to apply on your skin. I really like this formulation. That is my recipe for my 15% vitamin C serum, as well as the recipe for my 10% vitamin C cream. I hope you guys enjoyed this and that it helps you guys out. If you guys give it a try, please let me know how it worked out for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a really beautiful day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.